Okay, so we're going to start out with the eye drawer just because I feel like there's a couple things in here that I could get rid of. I'll link my declutter playlist down below. I've got my Anastasia self-made palette. I love this palette. It's one of my favorites. I'm actually going to start pulling this after I finish a couple more shadows in my Pan That palette, which is this one. So I'm keeping both of those. Um, the Modern Renaissance palette I'm keeping. I'm just going to move them to the back if they're you know, for sure being kept. This was in my most recent haul. This is the Laura Mercier I Art Artist palette. Really pretty. Haven't gotten a chance to play with that yet. Okay, this is where we see some that I'm gonna get rid of. And if the palettes are good and I haven't touched them or they're like still new and can be sterilized, I'll probably include them in a giveaway. Um, so this is the Rimmel London Nudes Calling and I'm gonna put this aside for a giveaway haven't actually touched that beyond swatching it. This is the Naked Cosmetics. Open. Now I've used this shade and it's really pretty, like really pretty. And it swatches really well also, but I don't see myself using it with anything else. So, oh, it's such a pretty color though. I might maybe depot a little bit of this and repress it into another palette, but either way, this whole thing will be will be going. This I bought off of Hot Look and I haven't even used. It's the Gorgeous Cosmetics Just a Quad. And I haven't even gotten a chance to play around with it. But it's really pretty. Like it it swatches nicely. There's that color. Um but really I just bought it because it was in a set with the primer and the foundation that I wanted. So I'm probably gonna put this in a giveaway too. Okay, this Shadow right here is on its absolute last leg, so I'm just gonna put this into my empties because this is at the point where it's hard to use. So it's just a brown. Um, and then actually, let me just swatch this because if it's, oh, I was hoping it was maybe more similar to that other copper color right there, but it's not. But I'll keep the rest of the shadows in here and then I'll just reorganize this once I'm done. This is the Lime Crime. Venus palette. So pretty, so pretty. I also want to work on this palette a lot. Um, this I'm going to pull out in the fall again, but super, super pretty palette. This is one of my Z palettes here. And uh, in case you are following my Pan That palette, this is the shadow that I've been pulling from to repress in there. So I'm going to keep that. And I also recently did a, a video where I went through all of my single shadows in this palette. So I've recently decluttered these. But... Now that I'm looking at it, I'll probably get rid of this one, and I think, pro um, no, I'll just leave that for now until I actually get back into using this, but I've been working on this color, I repressed this also into my palette, and I'm not the biggest fan. Okay, this is the Tartlet in Bloom, I've got some pan in here, really, really, really pretty, I'm gonna keep that, definitely need to start using that more, and then this is my other, um, Z palette. So we'll keep that and then the Lorac unzipped. So pretty. All these beautiful, beautiful shades that I haven't even gotten started with using. So I'm gonna pull this out a lot in the summer, I'm hoping. So we are down by three and then two blue shadows. So not not awful. I'm not horrified by that. Um, and then I'm also gonna pull a couple of these. I'll probably actually just pull these two, the self-made and then the Lorac Pro. And here's PS where I'm at on the Lorac Pro currently as of filming. Um, this is where I repressed the shadows, and then this is where I repressed in this Clinique shadow. So, anyways, I'm gonna put these into my vanity. Okay, this houses a lot of my single shadows and stuff like that, so I have an Annabelle Metallic. I haven't even touched this, and because I just went through all of my palettes, I kinda see that I have enough browns, so I'm gonna put this away for a giveaway as well. Same story with this, this is the Total Intensity Shadow, the plastic is still on it, so I'm gonna put this into a giveaway as well. Um, I'm thinking also, same story with this, because I don't really wear gold all that much, but it's Annabelle in Goddess, and the plastic's still on it, so I'll put that aside for a giveaway. I just don't use single shadows very often. Um, I have some duo glue, a lot of primers also, so... I'm gonna, this is new, completely new, um, still completely clean, so I'm gonna put this in a giveaway as well because something like this takes me a year to work through, plus I have Painterly, plus I have one that I'm working on, so I'll get rid of that. Uh, what's this? Oh, I love these. These are the, um, 
what are these called? Chrome Annabelle shadows. They're very similar to um, ColourPop in texture, but like look at that, it's so pretty. Oh, yes, yes. So I'm definitely gonna keep that. I need to do more dark, cool looks with this. Um, and then I just have glitter and some other base coats. So I'm gonna keep all of those. And I'll just switch it with this mascara and eyeliner here. Okay, so first thing, I have used one of these already, not these two, but one of the um, mascaras that Rimmel sent me. And it was nice, but it wasn't my favorite. So with these being unused, I'm gonna put these aside for someone else. Um, what else? I knew going through here there was some other stuff. Oh, this. This is the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Pencil. First of all, this side always gets caught in the cap. And second of all, when it's on your brows, it seems to collect, which is really weird. And because I have my Anastasia Brow, Brow Wiz, that's what this is called? Yes. And it is still a really great shade for me, even with my hair dyed. I'm gonna use this and declutter this. Other than that, I've got two colored eyeliners because I've decluttered basically all of them. This is in Royal, and this is from Gorgeous Cosmetics in that big, I guess, package deal I got. It's really pretty, really creamy, and I think that this would go really well if I was ever using the uh, Laura Mercier palette because that's a lot of purple tones. And this I've actually been using a lot. It's the Makeup Forever um, 12L eyeliner pencil. Really, really pretty blue. So I'm gonna keep both of these. And um, I work my way through mascaras enough, and I haven't tried most of these, so I think I'm good there. Back here, I just have some lashes, which I'm going to keep, and I think that's it. So this drawer is done. So overall, we're getting rid of three palettes, three single eyeshadows, two mascaras, one eye primer, and all of those things are going to be given away. And then the things that I'm going to throw away are this NYX brow pencil and then these two little single shadows. So pretty solid, solid declutter there. I'm pretty happy.